Hello YouTubers, Jason here. I wanted to give an update on the alcohol stove. My wife and I, conversion, my wife and I just returned from a, a winter expedition in uh, Colorado Rockies and the stove performed beautifully. We used the uh, modified K-Jet that's described in a previous video. I've been in contact with a gentleman um, and this is a shout out to you, uh, Mikhail Svarka. I'm probably butchering that name. He's a fella, and I think he actually probably goes by Michael. He's a fella from uh, Slovakia. And he sent me this uh, part for a stove. He contacted me via the internet and um, shared with me some information about someone else who had modified a whisper light. So credit goes to them for this video, but I wanted to share with you all uh, my experience with this system. So this little air metering device is something that a friend of Michael set, made for him. They made two, and uh, he sent one to me from Slovakia. So thanks to you guys for that. And the idea came to him via a fella on the internet, and I'll give credit where credit's due with respect to that whisper light alcohol modification. So this is uh, contrary to, or in addition to, or different from the system that I am uh, first invoked in modifying my stove by drilling out the K-Jet. So he's devised this device here that allows a person to use the white gas jet in their stove and run alcohol through the stove. So in doing some comparison testing, the um, air metering valve, as I call it, and this fellow in his site says it allows you to more efficiently burn fuel and that MSR claims that their stoves won't burn alcohol. And as they come, they probably uh, shouldn't because they don't run very well. Um, but uh, here I'm going to show grain alcohol 100% being used in this whisper light. And I'm popping the cap now. So this is the first time. And this bottle is uh, empty. There may be some residual from what I just poured out, but you can see the fuel bottle is empty now. So the only thing going in as I just pop the cap is the Everclear. And this can be purchased at a local liquor store, of course. Here in the States, it's about $25 for uh, 750 milliliters. So it's not the, the least expensive option for running your stove, of course. But um, while I've got this open, just want to show the seals. And uh, it's a little tough to see with the lighting that I have. But um, of all the time that I've been running this stove, there's been zero degradation of the seals. And there's some cautionary tales about how alcohol dries out. Rubber seals, uh, I personally have not had that experience. Certainly with any caustic fluid, there'll probably be corrosion of some kind. And um, again, I haven't seen that to be the case and I've been at this for probably about six months. So. screw on the top and the, the stove works just as it normally would and again I've got the standard white gas jet in here and I'm going to pump it up quite vigorously because what I found in using this metering valve is that the stove works best when I fully open the gas valve, which is a s interesting and slightly different from 
what's typical with the white gas. So I'm going to fill the priming cup as normal, cap this off, and uh, I've run this stove now in what I would consider relatively extreme conditions. Last week uh, I took it to 10,500 feet, 18 degrees Fahrenheit outside, windy as all get out, and it performed flawlessly. That was without this uh, airflow metering system. So I'll give a close up so you can see here what's going on. And this valve simply allows the airflow to be adjusted. right there at the jet because alcohol doesn't burn the same as white gas obviously so it's primed and ready to go I'm going to adjust the flow here and the, the lighting isn't great for detail let me bring in a flashlight here but it's great for showing the alcohol flame and that's one thing that um, is difficult to see on these, especially during the day. So one experience that my wife and I had while we were using this, this last couple of days, we were in the Indian Peaks wilderness on our winter expedition. And we noticed that it's a little bit easier to deal with the alcohol stoves um, by looking for the flame. And I think I've lost the flame there from the bottom. So I'll just light the top. And of course my windproof lighter is acting up, so I'll use a spare. But had I not been talking to you all, I would have been able to catch that sooner. Now I'm going to adjust this flame using the air valve, the air metering. So you can see as I adjust that, just the airflow, and I could see this being of, of great value, especially at altitude. So the, the testing that I did in boiling water, and I'm not going to do a boiling water test for you here, um, but the testing I did in boiling water showed that the, the jet modification yielded a faster boil time. Um, in this pot, using my infrared thermometer, um, the water temperature was about 37 degrees and I found that it boiled with the, the modified K-Jet in about four and a half minutes. When I started using this valve, at the wide open setting, and now I'm going to open the valve all the way on the fuel canister, all the way open, and then back a quarter to protect the threads. So with it wide open, I was able to get a boil time of about um, five and a half, uh, roughly six minutes. So that was 37 degrees Fahrenheit, um, as determined both by a, a temperature probe and by the infrared thermometer up to a rolling boil at 8,500 feet MSL uh, in about just over five minutes using this metering, airflow metering system that um, the gentleman from Slovakia sent me. So I'm quite pleased with the results of this. You know, no tricks. You saw me pop open the Everclear bottle. Um, as I said in, a, in an update to a previous video, I would go to this in an emergency. Um, this is a brilliant, robust flame. Certainly a windshield would be appropriate. But for people that are trying to make like the um, canister type stoves, and here I've got a, an example of, a, of an Esbit. I also have a super light titanium Vargo. The flame that these generate, and you can see other videos online, is considerably less robust than this guy. And you can start to see the glow 
on the um, body there. And this is a quite pleasing result. The best part is, of course, that um, you take this in the back country and you spill fuel on yourself or worst case scenario, the, the bottle's in your bag and it spills open. This is, it's certain quantities, of course, safe for human consumption. So here you have a, a fuel, and of course you could use denatured alcohol, isopropyl I've used 90%, uh, but the idea that you could bring a, a little fun with you as well as fuel for your stove to me is fantastic and the performance as you can see is probably as good as you would see with, in terms of a, the flame profile with white gas and so at some point I'll probably do higher altitude testing you know best I can get to in Colorado is 14,000 feet so we'll see if I get to that this summer and uh, I'll do my best to share those results for those of you that care but being able to adjust this airflow is a pretty cool pretty cool benefit. For winter travel, I told uh, Michael in an email, I'll probably hang on to my K-Jet because that four and a half minute boil time um, is pretty spectacular. Get the job done and that's with the, the jet that I drilled out. But this uh, system, airflow metering system that he sent, allows me to run at the same time with, without changing the jet. I could put um, white gas in the stove or I can put in as you can see there grain alcohol uh, I've done some experimenting with E85 I'm not impressed with it it's an awful lot of soot build up but uh, the 100% grain alcohol seems to work brilliantly so there's a bit of a demo thanks Michael for sending this didn't seem to make it through customs just fine with the declaration that it was a stove part and uh, my wife and I are going to have great fun She's had entirely too much tea to drink, even green British, because every time I boil a pot of water for a test, you know, I rush it into her to, to drink, because I don't want to just dump it. But uh, there's a demo of the, the flame, and uh, I may turn the right, I don't know, brighter, and grab a flashlight here, and show the finer detail of that jet. So you can see that it's barely open using the white gas, um, white gas jet. And then as I open this, you can hear the airflow change rather significantly. So that's about as wide open as it'll go before you start to lose some efficiency. And I'll uh, shoot the infrared thermometer on it to see. So right there, we're over 700 degrees. Over 900 in the flame, of course. And I think that's about the limit of this thermometer anyway. But i um, quite pleased with the results. So for those of you that were Jones in to run your camping trip and your uh, stove on 100% grain alcohol, Everclear, or denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol is considerably less expensive. I don't have the bottle in here, but it goes for uh, about seven or eight dollars a liter. And then um, certainly it's illegal, but any of you that are moonshining, you can certainly uh, brew your own fuel. But here's the MSR Whisper Light running on Everclear. And um, that's all. Thanks for watching.